Hi there. Okay, we're just going to be walking through how to transfer your poser animation into Blender using the MDD pack. So here we've got a poser character with an animation on her. Um, now there is a problem with Blender because Blender can only accept uh, 16 materials in one object. So if you were to transfer everything in the scene over in the one go, uh, you'd probably go over your 16 materials. So what we can do is pick out some of the material or some of the objects. The one there is uh, the model itself. And if we save that, accessories. You don't need to worry about the uh, file type. The scripts always add on the appropriate file type for what you're saving. We're saving an object. So it will save um, it will save the right name. Right now, we'll start saving the MDD files. So again, all the uh, accessories, we need to select them in the same way. Watch. Okay, and again, we'll put it in the same folder. All the accessories, even if we were saving it, it'll change that into, I think we'll scale it up when it's bigger and blender. If we jump over to blender, we can start importing our models. It's both wavefront objects. So, pull your temp. So I've got accessories. And in here you want to deselect these three because you don't want them getting separated into different objects. And what you want to do is right click on the mesh, create a new vertex group. Just accessories, okay. See if Posa has finished, which it has, so we'll do the Jesse. Yep, save that, then we'll scale it up by 10 as well. So while well, that's going out, we can import our MDD onto the accessories. Or the MDD. And again, same place. See, there's our accessories. Well, that's coming in. Poser's finished. There's our accessories in. So we scan that to get into be missing somebody, but um, need to import show model. It's in the same. Or 
There's this one there. Again, desolate these guys. Alright, that's what tiny wee model down there, because if you remember we exported the MDD file as a uh, scaled up by 10, so the model's tiny, but when we bring in the MDD, it will obviously scale it back up to match the rest of the stuff. One there. And there we go. Another thing you can be aware of when you bring in the model, if you set them to smooth and the accessories as well when you render oops put the light in the right place Camera's a bit off, but I'll live with that. Okay. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Sixteen material limit. This is a group of objects which you can do. Well, that's pulling in. All we could do is uh, like that one there. So I'll do it over there. Right. So not sure if these are scaled up. But as you can see, that's all one mesh there, right? So you could, if you wanted to, bring in all your figures in the one go. Um, same place. All objects MD. I'll probably take a wee while to pull that in. Well, that's that's the scene there. Basically, what I've done is um, when I do the object export, you just pick absolutely everything. You don't take the hair on because. Um, You can make the hair in Blender. So that would be everything. I mm, won't do it just now because Blender will be pulling. So we did screw and everybody's there in the middle. Go to animation. Scrub the timeline. You can see you can pull everybody in just as a one object. But 
if you look at the textures, the material counts ran out. And you'll find that textures will be getting used on other materials because you can only have 16 materials on the one object and even though that looks like three objects that's all actually just one object ok so that's something to be aware of hopefully that won't be a limit on the, the new versions of Blender